right, hello and welcome to another video. And this is a mine that has not appeared on the channel before. This is allegedly a silver mine that we have. Been in here about five years ago, but it's not recorded and it's not on the channel. So we come back, luckily it's still open. Uh, I was told it's a uh, silver mine, but I can't guarantee that. What I do know is it used to connect up to a lead mine and silver comes uh, with lead. So on the balance of probabilities, uh, it's likely that this is a silver mine. Now it's not a massive mine, so I'm going to try and uh, film as best I can. Just looking at a little hold around, put some uh, very old wood. Yeah, that's very soft. It's like Weetabix, as they say. So this is from, what, late 1700s to early 1800s. And these places are incredible, because especially remote ones like this, they just get abandoned and just left as they are. So this is like a time capsule of uh, when it was left. And here's the main first junction. Yeah, I remember this place. Yeah, I'll try and record it all in one piece. Might not be possible, but we shall do our best. Well, we've got a new member of the crew here today, Ben. Hello, Ben. Say hello to the hello. camera. Hello. Um, didn't see that last time. Uh, JT 1973. And this is Ben's first mine. Well, first proper abandoned first mine. Yes, yeah. yeah, done tourist ones, but this is his first real mine, as they say. It's quite warm in here, so it's quite nice to... I've got my t-shirt on and waders. But I know where this one goes, I remember. Unless it's changed since. We are coming through. And there's the guys up ahead. We've got George, Gary as usual, and the mighty Thor. Hello, mighty Thor, how are you? Mighty. Mighty, there you go. He's a man of a few words. Ooh, sorry about the camera work, it's a bit wobbly. There we go, it's a collapse. It may be through to the uh, surface because there's roots and stuff there, so that suggests to me this is a surface collapse. We spin the camera around. There we go. Loads of places for photography, especially later on when it gets prettier. So we'll head back to the junction. Right, back at the main junction. There's the guys up there. We are. So he's got some deads there, if you don't know what deads are, they are rock. And there's a Thor. Hello Thor! Oh, is it a Thor or is it a main monster? Uh, deads are rocks that don't contain ore, so they didn't get paid to remove them. So they, they stacked them to improve uh, things in the mine like structure, airflow. Um, come round here. And... where they're up there, but you see behind me, there's Gary, you see behind me, uh, there we go, we'll just walk through that little section, I failed to do that, there's nothing to see up there anyway really, but there's uh, woodwork, you wouldn't want to cross that, it's very rotten, now I'm going to go up here and follow the Gary, could you hold that and film me as I get up, okay, top of the And here's Thor coming up the same thing. Do you lose bits? No problem. If you'd like to go first, so I can get some skill. There we go. Yeah, I know. Sorry. It's just so irresistible. Right. So this comes to this collapse chamber here. This is where I wish I hadn't worn a t-shirt. <laughs> Looks like it's been really wet. Yeah, there's a lot of water coming yeah, in still. Water. Yeah. Some cracks. See the roof, although it's collapsed now, it's comparatively stable. And we'll head up there. Hear my waders. Get tight. I've been through it. I've been through that, unless it's got worse. Have a look. 
<laughs> that big boulder there before, one. Uh, I need to see the rooftop. <laughs> Oof, see what good. it looks like. You go have a look. I'll go have a look. This used to be passable five years ago. You could do it. But, <laughs> yeah, there's cracks in this. That's tight to the... Four. Sorry? That's a <sighs> Try it if you want, but there's a big crack through the rock above you. You do. That's only concern I've got. Put you back on that, you're gonna maybe dislodge it. So I think we'll pass on that one. <laughs> but it used to go up there and it comes out uh, just above the horse level below, so. Right. Yeah, you see the crack? Yeah. Huh. I know it wasn't brilliant before, but it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Mate, you know Widen this up. Yeah, right. You could slip through without touching that. We'll try that now. Let's have a look. Drops as soon as it goes through the hole, like. Eh? Right. So this is why you bring air meters, because last time we actually went through there, and everything was fine. This time, as soon as you poke the air meter through there, it drops to fifteen percent. So that's not doable anymore. That will. Uh, Give that one a miss. <laughs> I think it keeps going down or not? I wonder if there's something else in I thought it was just us in this little hole causing it to go off, but it's put it up through that hole and it's, uh, oh, it's gone off again. What's it showing now? 17. Seems to be staying at 17, like. Huh. Could just be me breathing on This is really tight in here. Yeah, it could be. And if it's already low, it's going to knock it even lower, isn't it? Yeah, there is coal in here. Look at that, see the cone in there. My ghost might fit better up here than our mate. My ghost! <laughs> we'll get him. Okay, back on the horse level. We'll be seeing there's Ben and his, his, his kit is far too clean. And on the ceiling there we've got something written. I can see it there on the camera. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's Roman, is it? No, is it? There's a W. V or um, something. It's a w. W. I w. Uh, uh, didn't see that last time. <laughs> <I'm pretty bored. laughs> Written where the carbide lamp by the looks of it. On the right, we've got, uh, looks like there was. There's another level through there. But it's uh, yeah, backfilled with deads again. So that's for the crew. Yeah, the other thing with that well it just been as was coal seen aside of us, so that's not helping with the air. What? Okay. Why? What? Let's take pictures. Well I think that's something's wrong then. <laughs> right, he's taking pictures, so I'll just hold this and then uh, back in on in a second. Right, proceeding ahead, and we've got some more woodwork up here. I thought that was where it came out. I'm sure it isn't. It's further on. And that one there. Ooh. Actually, it feels quite fresh on this level, but uh, you see the side here, you've got this coal seam. And uh, this beam, which is still holding this up, which looks like it could go at any minute. <laughs> We saw there's a vein going upwards as well there. Look at that. Yeah, there's a vein going up there. Yeah. What's that side of you, circle? Is that, is that enough where uh, iron nodules come out? Yeah, maybe. Well, okay. And let's travel along here. There's George. That's the hole. Where we would have come out of if we got through that hole at the top. But when we did the uh, air measurement, it was 15%. So it was definitely changed. Oh, yeah. And a little cool hole there where they look for the vein, give up. Either because it's too weak or because they found something there. So you can see here the geology's changing, it's getting a bit rougher. Thank you. 
and oh yeah this is where the upper level terminates here there we go yeah if you got there through that hole that's where it terminates and you can see all the veins coming through here <laughs> Um, back to the hole. Yeah, you can see coal seams. Now this there, I think the coal seams. Actually, it's like a soft clay on the surface. Where's Gary? Now, if you'd worn waders. <laughs> I did tell him it wasn't very deep. I did forget about the section, actually. It's been so long. Right. There we go, I've got this. Yeah. Oh. Right, very slowly. Sorry, dodgy button, dodgy camera work, but you know. Very difficult. Getting through this stuff, as you can see, Gary there. I'm trying to carry a camera at the same time. <laughs> right. Oop. So there's oh. Oh. Okay. Either way, the choice is yours, sir. I forgot about this section. <laughs> Ow. In a few moments, will we find something else? Not bad, it? Which will be very soon. There you go, we've got some water coming in, and it looks like uh, our old friend Zinc is in the area. It's uh, the black deposits. Maybe. Maybe I'm talking shite. Anyone? Oh, we've got all oh, couple workings. Wow. Very special place to be in, you feel the history. See some marks in the corner there. That's the sort of place where you might find finger marks and pin marks. Can't see anything too obvious on there. <laughs> and at the end here, we've got two chambers. Oh, that one's nice. I don't remember going up that one. I'm going this way. It's up this one. Oh, my hand just disappeared. Look at that. It just disappeared into there. Lovely. Don't come up here. <laughs> right, so we just got a very small chamber which goes around to the other collapse there. And now my hand is a fetching collar of yuck. Would work. Yeah, so, <laughs> nice, I'm gonna get back out of here. I'm sinking, I'm stuck in the mud. Yeah, we just had a look at that, appears to be green cracker up there, a little cavity. Let's have a quick sort of, oh, you're solid there. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, just a, just a small chamber of horror. Oh, yeah, don't go anywhere, as I can see. Nah. Okay, that's pretty. Just on the way over. Oh, way back from this section. Yeah. Right. Okay, we're heading up the uh, other branch. Going to the fence again. Get some wood. 200 years later, still holding that rock in place. Impressive. Uh, imagine it's not doing too much work. And turn here. We've got a queue to get under the wood here. So, just doing the traffic jump. Sometimes you can see pit marks and stuff. Or finger marks. Ah, pit marks! We've got pit marks. All here. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh yeah, you got loads of stuff to see on the ledges. We're gonna head up the 
head on. Got a bit of a uh, dead clutch in here. Under. Veins running through as well. Nice. Only bit of uh, iron work I've seen in here. Like another petrol level. And that one, and now you can see the, the coal seam running through. If I don't fall over. <laughs> Ceiling? You don't need ceilings. They're for horses. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Oh, yeah, so it's the uh, wheels been sitting on top of it, I imagine. You're in this way. So I'll uh, be back when I get to. Actually, it's changing there, so before we turn the camera off, let's have a quick There we are, you see that seam clearly running through this. And the little bit of silt on there. Oh, that's nice. There we go. Alright. Have a look at What you found? Just a random hole. Oh, it's a drill hole. Yeah, that's a big one, actually. I'll suggest later, working in the 1940s. Yeah, it's too bad. Good spot. <laughs> right. So, this is where we've just come through, and you can see here this starter drops, suddenly disappears beneath the floor, and ahead we've got two. Uh, one type of solid rock. Don't ask what type that is, I'm not a geologist. If you do know, leave it in the comments. There we go. There's some wire, so I would suggest this has been opened later at some point, maybe in the early 1900s. Yeah, I know, I know what's down there. <laughs> this is bigger than I remember, this place. Well, it's properly videoed now. There we go. Some wood has found its way up there somehow. Actually, it's a square, so. Yeah, it's a square on that side, so there's been a beam across there. At some point, now we can hear lots of water as we come towards the end of this one. So, yes, uh, head on, we've got a full water pool here. Nice. Sweet. The final chamber. Well, final chamber these days. So this used to be a massive mine. So this, uh, in the last five years, this doesn't look to have changed at all. That is the same as it was then. Ow! So now this way. This is hard. What's that? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a nice. ruin your day. And then it's just uh, the chamber of grot at the end there. Let's look at that again with the brighter light. There we go. And I think that's the end of this one. So, uh, enjoy. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and all that. And, uh, Support the channel through Patreon, not Patreon, through members of your oh Just noticed this on the way out, a piece of wood. It's so rotten. Look at the back end of it, it still remains. Not. Oh, there's a thaw having a crawl. Aww. I don't think it goes anywhere though. And it looks really painful. Yeah, painful probably, painful. probably because it, it will be. <laughs> I suspect this may not be original to the mine, or if it is, it's 1940s. Uh, there's a tiny little light bulb, you see there, the scale, hiding away. Uh, ben just spotted that. Right. Take me out.
welcome to another adventure possibly we'll see how this one goes but we're deep in the woods we have and we're on a uh, permission visit to the mines here we're not going to tell you where they are but the landowner has given us permission to uh, explore this they're actually quite keen for us to explore it so they can see uh, what we discover but a bit of a climb down so you know, Ugh, mine gas. I'm gonna put the uh, camera away and get my ass down there. Thor sounds healthy there. Yep. All right. So here we are in the bottom of the valley, and you can see Ben there, and there's our portal. Now, apparently this pops out the other side, so we're gonna go in a different way. Probably best, yeah. All right. So, but we can have a look at this and light it up. I'll get down there and do that. All right. So here it is, and. Uh, <coughs> Time of year, lots and lots of flies and build up there in class. This is a lead mine, as usual. As usual in the North Pennines, this one's a bit different. When did this close? This has got the early 1900s, judging by the architecture. Metal. So we'll uh, go and have a look. Yeah, I've just stepped back out, and this pipe here is plastic. So it looks like this might be as young as the 50s. Still 70 odd years old, but yeah, this might be 50s when it closed. I'll look up and if I find a proper date off research, I'll stick it on the video. Okay, and just further down the valley, uh, we've got this, which, ah, oh, yeah, this is storage. There's a face there. Don't know if it was a culvert or what, but yeah, it's just, uh, this is storage. This is the face right there. All right, I'm gonna head the day on the valley. Yeah, I think this is all hoppers, is it? Possibly. There's rails coming down there to an angle. Yeah, so it's for dropping. Oh, I think. Which would mean there's another level up there. Maybe used to run it along the top on a rail or something. Which would suggest there's another level up there. More workings up there. Interesting. I don't like the, the bricked up arch though. Could be a kiln on the end, there's a bricked up arch there. Could be a mixed mixture of things. I don't know. Yeah. Well, nothing at ground level. Yeah. Well, this is amazing. Uh, there's a culvert here, but it's actually cobbled on the bottom. In case you haven't gathered, I've got my light on. But there you go. There's an old stone culvert hiding away here deep in the countryside. Very pretty. Well, I've got the torch on here because the tree cover makes it quite dark, but it's like something out of a horror film. Look at that. The old uh, stone steps to the railing. So this is definitely 50s because there's uh, all this sort of railing and stuff around. So it's like with the light off. Oh, that's not bad. So, uh, it's more down there. Yes, we're uh, some sort of random cage here. I've got you on widescreen so you can see it better. But I don't know if it's a cap shaft. It doesn't look like one. It's weird though. Near yeah, the guys on the edge. Living life on the edge there. What you found? Shaft cap, I think. Ooh. What, on the edge of a thingy? I can't do it. I don't know. On the edge of a that, that makes no sense. Yeah. No, I've seen weirder things. Though. Maybe it's some sort of kiln blocked off or something. something. Wandering through the woods, following the god named Thor. La di da di da di da di. Yes, I've got no words. See, hey, this is fun around here, isn't it? Well overgrown. This is worse than that colliery we did. Yep, further up the valley, once again. We got one of these culverts. Obviously, we connect with the last one, put the torch on so we can see better. There we go. Big old stone culvert. Amazing. It's just hidden away. No. Most people don't even know it's here. There's another one. Okay, further up the valley, uh, we have just down here a shaft. And this is the sort of old school way of blocking shafts <laughs> wood, metal, and just blocking it off with a fence. So, yeah, the reason not to. Uh, 
wind around places like this if you don't know what you're doing because there can be stuff like that that's not capped. I've seen them here and I used to... Right, a little extra bonus. We've been wandering around the area and we found this very little known thing we thought was a cave initially, but it isn't mine. Not like the little building either, but uh, it's very old, it's very silted. <laughs> On another day, probably get past that. But a little chamber there, and that is as far as they can get this today. Oh, there we are. Uh, so this is the entrance to that and it looks like the woods dump all their water into it. So I'm gonna come back another time and look at that. Hope you enjoyed the video.